Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's see what is the use case for today's session. So we will be displaying process flow formatter as per state in incident form ok so let's move further in my personal developer instance and show how we can implement this use case ok as you can see our personal developer instance is loaded in a screen ok so now let's move and see how we can implement this use case process flow formatter for incident table based on state values ok so now let's move further and try to create those process flow formatter ok so now let's check on our incident whether we are having any formatter or not so we can see our incident let me try to open an incident here so we can see we are not getting any process flow here we have to just go to our state and check whether which state the incident is in ok so now what I will do is like I will create process flow for this particular incident table ok so now you can see how I will do this ok please follow this uh, video one by one ok so we have to type here process flow ok you can see under system UI we are able to find process flow now I will click on this ok now I will check whether any existing process flow is generated in the system for incident table or not let me check so we can see we are not having any records with the uh, incident table ok so we will try to create those process flow formatter records here and then I will show you how it will be displayed in our form ok so let's try to create those so we will click on new button and you can see our configuration form has displayed here ok so now let me try to select incident here ok I have selected incident now I will select the name ok name would be new this label will be the label which will be displayed here in topmost section of this incident form ok so let me try to create those and show how we can uh, display these ok so let me provide a condition here state state is new ok so we will create this particular process for new and similar way I will create for all the states which is present in incident form ok now you can see the message process flow formatter automatically created for incident table ok so we will add that in our incident form but let us try to create other options condition as well new in progress on old resolve close cancel let me try to create it fast ok What I will do is like I will do insert and stay. Okay, now next is on hold. I will create for all the states because that will look good for our incident form so I will show completely how it will be displayed
closed. So one more is there. Let, let me try to create that also and I will show further how we can add this in our incident form. So let me add cancelled as well. Now you can see I have created six records for this incident table new in progress on old resolved close cancelled this flow formatter. Now let me try and see whether this this process flow is added on incident form or not. Let me try to check this. Okay, so we are not able to see the process flow here. Okay. So now I will tell you how we can do that. So let me configure form layout here. Okay, now here we have to find process flow. You can see the process flow is displayed here. So let me add this and let me add this as well. So as uh, it can be displayed correctly. So you can see the process flow will create on top. You can see I have added this field process flow here. Okay on top. Top of the form it will be displaying because that will look on top only properly. Okay. So let me try to save it and now you can see our incident is in new state so it is showing new here. So now let me try to click on in progress and you will see how our form looks. Okay there might be some error existing error because some flow is already running on back side of this incident okay so we we can display our uh, records here and now i will show you how it looks when the incident is in on hold let me try an open incident list here Suppose let me open on hold closed. Yeah. Here you can see the state is new. So we are getting the process flow at new. And you can see the incident is in on hold state. It is set as on hold. And in new and in progress already passed. And here you can see closed. New in progress on hold. Resolved is passed. And uh, we have moved our incident to closed. So it is uh, showing in correct place. Okay. Alright, so this is all about process flow formatters use case that will help in much of the use case that will be asked from customer side. Okay, please provide your comment if you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session. For more information, please visit description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT.